math friends. This is Kristen Hilty here again from Making Math Make Sense. Today I'm joined once again by my friend Megan, and we are going to teach you a division game called Cookies. For this game, all you're going to need are 15 counters of some sort. We're going to use M&Ms as our counters. You'll need one die and you will need six um, something, could be plates. We used a cut, cut up index card to represent plates. So you'll need six plates, 15 cookies, and one die. I'm gonna go first and to play, I'm gonna roll the die. That tells me how many plates that I need. So I rolled a three, so I have to take out three plates and lay those out. And what I have to do is I have to take my 15 cookies and divide them equally onto my three plates. Many kids, when they're first starting out with division, they're going to start by putting just one on each plate, and that's fine. Um, as their skills progress and they get more confident in that equal sharing, then they might start putting two on each plate or three on each plate. So once I've taken my 15 cookies and put them equally onto my three plates, I can see I have five cookies on each plate and I don't have any leftover. We did attach a recording sheet that you can use if you want students to fill in equations for this. The way this would get filled in, I would put a K for player Kristen. Number of cookies, I had 15. I had three plates. And now I have to write my equation. When I write my equation, I always start by talking about my number of cookies first divided onto my number of plates. I had 15 cookies that I divided onto three plates, which meant I had five cookies on each plate and I did not have any leftover. So what happens now is all 15 cookies go back to the center. It's Megan's turn. She's gonna roll the die to see how many cookie or how many plates she needs to get. Okay. I'm gonna have Megan cheat for a second. I'm gonna have you turn that to two. So let's turn it to a two. So, say I have two plates and 15 cookies, I'm going to have seven on each plate. And then I have one left over. So Megan had 15 cookies that she had to divide on the two plates. So she knew that that was seven on each plate with one left over. So Megan's going to fill that in on our recording sheet. She's going to put the letter M for Megan. her 15 cookies and her two plates and her equation of 15 divided by two equals seven with a remainder of one. And so we have that remainder one. She actually gets to keep that one cookie. That becomes hers. So now these come to the center for me. And now this time I only have 14 cookies that I have to divide equally. Oh, and I rolled a one. So if I roll a one, I have 14 cookies that I have to divide on one plate. All 14 go on that plate and I don't have any left over. I would record that equation. I had 14 cookies on one plate. I have 14 divided by one equals 14 and zero left over. Megan now gets all 14 and she is going to roll to see how many plates she needs. <laughs> I'm gonna have her cheat again put a six out there right. so Megan rolled a six okay so 15 cookies and 14 cookies 14 cookies and then we have six plates Okay, so I have two cookies on each plate with two left over. All right, so Megan's going to go ahead and record that equation. So she had 14 cookies divided onto six plates. So 14 divided by six equals two with a remainder of two, and she gets to keep those two cookies as well. So she is moving right along. The object of this game is you want to have the most cookies at the end. You want to have the most that were left over. What I like about this game is it's really focusing on the remainder, getting kids to understand the concept of what that leftover means. So now 
since she took two out of there, we now have 12 cookies in our pile. I rolled a four. I'm going to um, cheat again, and I'm gonna change mine to a five just to give you the idea of what happens. So now I have 12 cookies that I have to divide equally onto my five plates. When I divide those equally onto those plates, I can see that I have two cookies on each plate with a remainder of two. So my equation was 12 divided by five equals two with a remainder two, and I get to keep these two cookies over here. We're gonna fast track this game a little bit, and we're going to pretend that we've had all those cookies taken, and we're down to three cookies in the center. So Megan, I'm gonna let you roll where we have three cookies left. Roll one more time. <laughs> And Megan rolls a four. What we don't want to tell kids is we can't do three divided by four. So Megan, how many plates do you have to get? Four. So Megan has to put her four plates out there. And Megan has three cookies that she has to divide equally onto those four plates. If we have to divide those equally onto those four plates, how many cookies can we put onto each plate? One. Well, you can't put one on each. Why? because there's not enough. There's not enough. What would we have to do to those cookies to be able to put them on those plates? Cut them into smaller pieces. We'd have to cut them into smaller pieces, which is what gets us into um, our division with decimals. In this case, with third graders and with fourth graders, we still want them to know the equation. We have three cookies divided onto each plate equals zero with the remainder of three. So when Megan writes her equation on here, Megan would write, and again, we fast tracked the game. So we got all the way down to where we had three cookies. She had four plates. Her equation is three divided by four equals zero with the remainder of three. And she gets those three leftover cookies. Now in fifth and sixth grade, we could talk about how we would divide those equally which then leads into your concept of division with decimals on how we would have to cut those apart into smaller pieces. That's the gist of the game cookies. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, that recording sheet is attached to the bottom of this video link. Any questions or concerns playing the game, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can always change the number of cookies also. I like to start it with 15 because that's a nice uh, number to kind of get the game going. But if you want to make it last longer, start with 20 cookies or 25 cookies, however many you want to make it. Cookie crisp cereal is also a fun way to play this game. Um, or if you're playing this in the classroom and you just have red and yellow counters, those make great cookies as well that you can have for your students playing this. Again, thanks for watching. Have fun playing cookies.